Hey guys, welcome to this week's vlog. So right now, I just got two audition uh, emails. One is for a voiceover and the other one is for a self-tape um, for a commercial for film from, film from home. So I am cleaning up a little bit, setting up. My room is a little bit of a mess right now because on this side, I have a bunch of stuff that is usually in the living room, but right now we have foster kittens and we don't want them to touch all of this fabric and rugs and stuff. And um, I just have a little bit of a mess over here on the floor because I was cleaning out under the bed and organizing, but I'm cleaning everything up so they can see the space that I have. I have a ring light here. I hid my backdrop. So, it, you know, the in the commercial, usually you don't have backdrops unless you're only going to use backdrops. And then I, oh, I need to move this light. I have a fake light here for my plants because... Um, I usually don't have a lot of sunlight except for this time of the day right now, which is why I'm going to film the audition right now. And then I have my closet here set up with another light in here. So because I don't have that much natural light, I need to compensate or overcompensate with uh, fake ones. Okay, now moving this light out. I think everything else will be good. And then I just have to test out. Hi, kitties. I just have to test out um, the shots. The cats were waiting for me right outside the door because they're not allowed in here. Hi. For the first audition, they want me to show my space. So I'm trying to figure out, oh, actually, I think this would work. You see a little bit of the books there. If I go, oh, maybe I can start right here because the ring light is right there and I don't want to keep going because then you're going to see that. So maybe. I'll start right here and then I'll walk around and talk, see the lines, introduce myself and and right here because the audition is about shopping. Oh no, my underwear! <laughs> is that better? Put some shoes there. Okay, I think that's better. Great, and then after that, um, we can do the voiceover. I almost forgot they wanted me to film it vertically, so I might have to move some papers. Let's just move these. Okay, I moved all the mess to this side, which is the wall that I'm not really using. I have a rug rolled up here because of the kittens, but it won't be here if I do get hired for this because the kittens are leaving soon. I'm taking them back in a couple of days. Okay, so we start here, come around, and then walk over this way, and then, wah! And then end up here in the closet. Okay, I think that'll work. Cool, cool, cool. Everyone. Ah, that one was almost perfect, but I messed up at the end. Okay, I don't know how many takes I have done, but I've been recording for about five minutes, and the lines take me about 40 seconds so maybe like six times okay oh my god okay i think i, I think that one was the one um i'm gonna look at it really quick okay i reviewed the footage and uh the audition is okay there was one line that i is just felt so fake to me so i'm gonna redo it again hopefully this is the last time i feel like i have the i actually have the lines down so maybe it'll be easier because i'm not actually trying to remember the lines i'm just saying them okay last take maybe take seven i got it i got that shot so now i'm gonna transition to voiceover which because I was reorganizing my uh, closet over there, my voiceover stuff is actually under my bed right now in, in my new like audition baskets that are under my bed. So I need to take my microphone in there now each time, each time rather than having it there always, just because I'm still trying to figure out how I'm organizing it in there. So I'm gonna grab my mic from under here and then take it into the closet to record.
I am done recording that voiceover, so now I'm gonna edit all of these things, upload them, and send them out. Hi guys, so it's a little bit later in the afternoon and I got another uh, self-tape, but I needed a reader, so I waited till my boyfriend was home from work, and now he's gonna help me um, with, this, with this audition, which is super quick. Uh, it's the, it's a, um, they're asking in the submission for a self-tape immediately. They're not requesting it later. One line. He says one line. I say one line. Super easy. So, okay. What's my line? Okay. I think that's good. Thank you, sir. I'm going to edit it and then send it over immediately today right now oh and this is for the san francisco bay area by the way i feel like any casting calls like this in la would not ask you to do a self-tape immediately because they would get thousands and thousands and thousands okay good night hi it's friday and i heard back from that uh, self-tape i recorded earlier this week they did want to hire me it's another film from home project and it pays a little bit more than the one that I had been doing in the past so that's pretty exciting that it's more payment I just need to see what the workload is work workload is going to be like to see if it's worth it um and they messaged me through casting networks so if you guys haven't been messaged by somebody so you can get an alert and then a separate thing is an alert for like a self tape audition request a media request and then a separate thing can be, they can send you a message. So if you guys remember in the past in Casting Networks, when they sent you a message, it would go directly to your email and then you can email back. Well, this one, um, they sent me a message and I was able to reply to them once. And then after that, it basically locked me. Like I couldn't reply anymore, but they had provided me an email to contact them anyway. So I did that. And then they emailed me a questionnaire, asked me to fill out like, uh, talent info stuff just like the other one that I did it's basically like what equipment do you have um, how tall are you your measurements things like that so that was pretty simple we'll see how that goes I'm assuming I'm gonna film it next week since today is Friday and I just got a self tape audition request from Aura Casting. It's for a commercial and two of the shots need to be at my front door and then one of the shots need to be like at a desk or, you know, sitting. Um, and so I'm trying to figure out what to wear because I do not want to wear this for a mom look. So I'm going to choose like a more simple t-shirt and then film it. And oh yeah, and it has one line. But I need to film that because I'm actually going out of town. Mm, I shouldn't say that. But I need to film that because it is uh, 4 p.m. and is it 4 p.m.? Yeah, it's 4 p.m. and I uh, my boyfriend's almost off of work, so I want to also relax for the weekend. So I want to get the self tape audition done now, even though it's due on Tuesday. It's pretty simple. I know I can get it done, you know, within the next 30 minutes or so, as long as I figure out what to wear easily, quickly. Um, and then since it's at the front door, I also have a light. So I have this light that I can take to my front door because my hallway isn't doesn't have the best lighting. Um, although I have done auditions at my front door, but I didn't love them before. It just looked a little dark. So I'm going to use this light. Um, right now it doesn't have a battery. They're charging, but I'm going to do that. So come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go do the audition. <laughs> Maybe just this green. Oh, I think that'll look good. Yeah, just like a green t-shirt. And then for the last shot, because one of the actions is like me hugging another person, I'm just going to wait until my boyfriend gets here and then I will shoot that part of him like giving me a hug. And of course, it'll just be his back and me towards the camera um, to make it look its best. But I have this shirt. I think that's mom enough. And then I'll have a purse. I'll go grab my purse. Okay, since for this last shot, I have to be like carrying a bunch of stuff. I put my hair up and then the description is you're walking home to the front door. Your hands are full and the door opens. Your husband and son greet you and help you in by grabbing the stuff out of your hands and give you a hug. So what I'm going to do is get a shot of me coming down the hall with a bunch of stuff. And that'll just be like two seconds. And then I'm going to set up an over the shoulder shot of my boyfriend so he can open the door. And then you'll see me when he opens the door. Um, you'll see me there with the stuff. He can take the stuff from my hand and then give me a hug. And hopefully the light adjusts okay because the door area is all white and then the hallway is a little bit darker. So hopefully it doesn't look crazy. So I'm going to do a test shot. Um, but he just got home from work and we're going to film that right now. I already finished editing the rest of the audition and then I'm going to send it off as soon as I have this. 
I hope I didn't overdo it with these bags. I did make them a little bit heavy so it would look more realistic. When you open the door, um, can you give me a second to like just react to you and then, well actually you can just grab this one and lift them up to you. I swear you guys, I don't even know what my neighbors look like. I never see them, never see their faces. And right now, both my neighbors from across the hall in front and then right next door walked up as I had my phone and my lights up. Embarrassing, but my boyfriend was such a trooper. Um, we got the shot, I'm gonna edit it and then send it over. Hi, my name is Belgica Rodriguez. All right, you guys, we are done. Self-tape submitted. Um, my hand still hurts a little bit from the bags, but that's my own fault for actually putting heavy things in it. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. And at the end of every video, I feature another channel. This is today's feature. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you're subscribed, like this video, and leave me a comment about what your channel is about if you want me to say something about it during my outro.